The purpose of my project is to investigate the amounts and types of bacteria on drinking water fountains and to determine whether they are potentially harmful. Also, is there something we can do to reduce the amount of bacteria on the surface of a drinking fountain or to reduce our exposure? I used McConkie agar with mug, which is a differential growth medium and is used to identify gram-negative bacteria. I also used mannitol salt agar. Mannitol salt agar grows only gram-positive bacteria because this medium contains high levels of bile salt. For a general count of bacteria, I used nutrient agar. Nutrient agar contains beef extract, which most bacteria love. At the end of my study, I was not able to determine whether fountains are safe to use. Currently, there is not a guideline specifying how much bacteria can be on a surface. I found that the bowl has the most bacterial colonies. The bowl has an average of 42.8 colonies per 3 square centimeters. The handle has an average of 9.8 colonies and the spout has an average of 7.5 colonies. I found that fountains at sports centers had on average 66.3 colonies. Fountains at schools had on average 52.2 colonies, and businesses had on average 66.3 colonies. I had predicted that fountains that are close to a source of contaminants have more bacteria on them. I was correct. I found that the closer a fountain was to a source of contaminants, the more bacterial colonies it would have. My hypothesis regarding fountain height was correct. I concluded that fountains that are higher from the ground are usually cleaner than lower fountains. When you are using a water fountain, remember these facts. Do not touch the bowl on the drinking fountain. Also, you should consider not touching the handle or washing your hands thoroughly afterwards. Avoid using fountains that are close to the ground. Watch out for trash cans, washrooms, or recycling bins near drinking fountains. With these facts, you can protect yourself from bacteria on drinking fountains.